Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, today we are taking a look at 1999's Galaxy Quest with, man, they were so hot at the time, Tim Allen, Alan Rickman, and in my opinion, the goat of female action stars, Sigourney mm. Weaver. She is the bar by which everyone else is judged. I have not seen this one. It's a first time watch, so I'm excited to check it out. I also have not seen it. All I know is that Tim, the <laughs> tool man Taylor is in it, Tried and I am definitely ready, willing, and able to see this movie. I'm, I say this with shame. I'd never even heard of this movie <laughs> oh. before. I literally know a galaxy quest. What's that? Uh, some sort of parody, I guess, but uh, I'm excited to watch it. It came with some pretty good uh, good reviews and recommendations. So, All right, without further ado, <laughs> let's go! We are alive. <laughs> <laughs> I grab stars, hammer, we live to tell the systems register functional. Hey, oh, there is. Is. I don't like it. Look at that hair. <laughs> Look at the hair. Tony Shaloub. Shaloub. Pride Apple. of, of Avalon, yeah. yeah. Activate the Omega 13. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, come on. The first people to see The Lost <laughs> Galaxy Quest, episode 92, two-parter, since it was originally aired in 1982. Yeah. All right. Oh, Sam loves, yep, oh loves Sam Rockwell. Where in the hell is he? <laughs> An hour and a half late? An hour and a half. I mean, this is unreal. They're going to start eating each other up. <laughs> he booked another appearance without us. You're kidding. Oh, uh, <laughs> Stretch it out. You had a character people loved. I mean, my TV guide interview was six paragraphs about my... and how they fit into my suit. <laughs> Wait, I'll think of it. I repeated the computer, Fred. <laughs> Woo! Your commander is on deck. <laughs> <laughs> He's still trying to open the cookies. For those four seasons, we developed the same affection for the crew as the crew had for each other. I mean, these weren't just... Adventurers exploring space. These were friends. It's not a big deal. These guys put a little set in their basement. I'm there about an hour. They wanted the commander. There he goes. Alexander, wait. Grab him. Grab him. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 and finally, my. My fellow Questerians, brave commander, the NSEA protector, Peter, Peter, Peter. Quincy, 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 Quincy. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Hey, Gwen. Oh, hey, man, I want to thank you for that nice intro you gave us today. I was on the show in 82, episode 81. Got killed by a lava monster before the first commercial. Oh, I could sit in and uh, sign a couple autographs. <laughs> I grabbed Thor's hammer by the sons of Warvan. <laughs> 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 he still is. Excuse me, Commander. Hey, hey, Justin Long, wow. You could help settle a dispute that my crew and I seem to be having. If you remember uh, in Quasar Dilemma. Excuse me for a minute, fellas. And even oh, the relevant conundrum. The tall guy looks familiar, too. He's in a bunch of movies, too. I got the feeling that you and the Commander kind of had a thing. No, the Commander and I never had a thing. Well, that's her story. <laughs> <laughs> he just knows how to play the crowd. Mm, need your help. Is this about the gig tomorrow? Last time I had those gigs, they shoved me in the back of a Toyota. Mum's the word. Suddenly, my um, mum. Is that a young Dwight, Rain Dwight? Wilson? There's Rain Holy Wilson. The, the shit, girl, the girl, <laughs> the girl was the Russian from Dodgeball that had the unibrow. Oh. It was cute when I didn't know you. Look <laughs> 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 at the girl in the, the back. The girls in the back. just like him. It's hilarious. Bunch of losers begging for autographs at 15 bucks a pop. You're ragging on him in there? He has no idea. He's a laughing stock. He can chew his butt. Oh, Jesus. Oh. We've all been there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
We are Thermians from the Klaatu Nebula. Our people are being systematically hunted and slaughtered by Rathaceres of Fatupri. We are to meet in negotiation, however. Our efforts in this regard have been disastrous. Please, Commander, you are our last hope. Maybe I should get some pants on. Come on in. <laughs> it's a little look. Game. <laughs> so I... Oh. Um, <laughs> I must say that standing here in your presence <laughs> is the greatest honor we could ever. Coca-Cola, do you have one of those? Sir, I am Teb. <laughs> I would like to explain the history between our people and the Saris Dominion in greater detail. You didn't. In the fight. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Doesn't she talk? Her translator is broken. <laughs> The Zaktar migration, and then the Malosian shift. It's <gasps> spread through the land, fighting among trees, sex, and larvas. Ah, the foolishness! And it was in this time of dissension. <laughs> Would you like to don your uniform? You know what? I'd like to skip that. I got this gig in, in Van Nuys in about a quarter of an hour. Is that all right? As you wish, sir. It's Saris. He's here. <laughs> General. <laughs> I have just received word the Thermians have appointed a new commander to have- Look at these guys. This is great. You know, usually it's just cardboard walls in a garage. We apologize for operating oh. in low power mode, but we are experiencing a reflective flux field this close to the galactic axis. I remember he, him, he was in the ringer. Slow down to Mark II. I see fear. That is expected. Mm -hmm. They bring a new commander. That's good. <laughs> Here I mean, you know, it looks... And if I do not hear what I like, no. then there will be blood. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Let's fire blue particle cannons full, red particle cannons full. Get at magnets, fire them left and right. Let them run. All shoots while you're at it, once you toss that at him, killer. <laughs> that should take care of old lobster head, shouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way they walk. Where are you going? Home. You mean Earth? Yeah, Earth. He has a very powerful ship. Anyway, hey, if you got any more problems with the guy, just uh, you know, give me a call. An interstellar vox. Well, can we thank you, Commander? You have saved our people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not exactly what I expected for beaming. Oh. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the old wormhole jump. Uh, the old wormhole jump. Works every time. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got him back to his house. From us. We've been all over the years. But we've never seen space age values like we've <laughs> Tech Value Electronics Superstore. Uh, what have they done to Ripley? By grab fast. <laughs> what a saving. <laughs> 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 These kids are <again. laughs> back. If you found the Omega 13, my apologies. Uh oh. Saris lives. He doesn't wish us to negotiate a surrender. Humbly implore you to come negotiate the terms. They want me back. You want me back. Isn't this is amazing. They want me back, and I want you guys to go with me, please. I'm not kidding, no. Guys, guys, listen. Come on. You know, it's one thing to treat us this way. It's another thing to do it to your fans. She's not a fan. This is a this is a termite. <laughs> I think we should have just taken the gig. I mean, who knows the next time he'll ask us. But he was drunk. You really think he was talking about a job? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's here. <laughs> that crazy guy. What a slime ball. Where's our fourth guy? Yeah, where's Tony? Bo! Our most sincere apologies. We forgot about our appearance generators. You guys came. Who wants the grand tour? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, he did make it. That was a hell of a thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's all calm. 
<laughs> Doctor Lazarus. <laughs> Lieutenant Madison. <laughs> Young Laredo, how you've grown. Tech Sergeant Jack. Tech Sergeant Jack. Crewman Guy. <laughs> Guy. <laughs> In fact, all you see around you has been taken from the lessons garnered from the historical documents. A spaceship. No, this is a starport for the ship. Would you guys like to see the ship? Oh, is the ship going to be just like the one on the show? Yeah, it's got to be. Yep. They probably modeled the ship. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, look at that. The real deal. You guys want to leave? We have enjoyed preparing many of your esoteric dishes. Your Monte Cristo sandwich is the current favorite. That is. It's like throwing gasoline on a flame. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just jealous about being on the show, man. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the crew has requested to be present at this historic event. Sure, bring him in. <laughs> oh, man. Laredo, take us out. Excuse me? They designed those controls after watching you pick her out. <clears throat> right, right. Yeah, how about that quip you just said about not being the commander now? Yeah, yeah how hard could it be? <laughs> well, look at that. Piece of cake. I for sure thought he was going to do an Independence Day where he went backwards. backwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, someone has this flipped upside down. <laughs> Get a move to the right. Would you sit your ass down? Sit. Oh, you want to drive this thing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh. <laughs> How are you enjoying your steak, Commander? I'm really enjoying it. It's like corn fed Iowa beef. Yes, we programmed the food synthesizer for each of you based on the regional menu of your birth. <laughs> oh. It's great. Are you enjoying your cat blood ticks, Dr. Lazarus? Just like Mother used to make. <laughs> <laughs> you heard about the device, the Omega-13. Um, what is it? What does it do? We don't know. We were hoping you could enlighten us. Oh, because that's where the episode left mm -hmm. off to be continued. Oh, your Omega-13 device. We found uh, that in the alien planet. We don't know what it does either. Why don't you just turn it on and see what it does? <laughs> it has a... Was it, was it a laugh? If you have any mercy within you, please let me die. When I grow weary of the noises you make, you shall die! <laughs> Guys, come on, hold on a minute. I'm not even supposed to be here. I got screw man number six. I'm expendable. I'm the guy in the episode who dies to prove the situation is serious. <laughs> That's awesome. There's a red uh, thingy moving toward the green thingy. What? Red thingy moving toward the green thingy. I think I think we're the green thingy. A little present for you, Commander. We gotta get out of here. Move the ship. Turn it. Move. Let's go. Just <laughs> They're still doing the shake the camera deal. <laughs> There's should be, should be behind us. The press turbo. I've always said press the turbo, right? Oh, it's right here. Right here. Whoa. <laughs> 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 We've got to stop. We're stopping. We die. Tommy, just hold that thing down. Hold the turbo down. It's for quick boost. Oh, like you know. Mmm. <laughs> 
Trophy in minefield left standing from the Great War of 12185. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> These guys are taking some damage. You possibly tried not to hit. <laughs> Rickman is so damn good. Almost do this. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. That's, That's good. Not good. Where's Tommy? <laughs> Tommy, you all right? <laughs> Take him to medical quarters. Thanks, Matheson. <laughs> <laughs> Kick him his, his legs. legs. Can it be repaired? <laughs> Irreparable. Oh. New source of brilliant must be secured. You broke the ship. You broke the bloody ship. <laughs> <laughs> I have one job on this lousy ship. It's stupid, but I'm gonna do it, okay? Oh, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he, he tugged his hair back down. <laughs> he tugged his hair back down. That's great. In fact, we have begun to document our history from your example. No, not, not historical documents. They're not all historical documents. I mean, surely you don't think that Gilligan's Island is a... Those poor people. <laughs> <laughs> Is there no one on your planet who behaves in a way that's contrary to reality? We have only recently become aware of this concept in our dealings with Ceres. And Ceres will say one thing and do another, promise us mercy, but deliver destruction. <laughs> <laughs> endothermic propulsion what do you think huh? we'll do that <laughs> right <laughs> all right yeah Gr come on group hug oh, <laughs> <laughs> dwight <laughs> it looks like the one in front of him was uh squeaks clarity from basketball <laughs> the the one i keep thinking it's jimmy fallon <laughs> kind of looks like him by grabthar's hammer dr lazarus don't do that i'm not kidding sorry sir i was only just don't Never give up. Never surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Lazarus, here is your surface map. I have programmed it to the coordinates of a brilliant sphere of sufficient density. Good luck on your mission, sir. Thanks. You want good, Tommy? <laughs> He's got the little <laughs> cheese <Jeez>. and dips. <laughs> You're not gonna die on the planet, guy. I'm not? What's my last name? It's, uh, um, uh... Nobody knows! <laughs> <laughs> my character isn't important enough for a last name because I'm gonna die five minutes in! Die! Ah, you, you have a last name. Die! <laughs> no! I just come in! Number six! Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> We there yet? Fred Why is he enjoying it so much? <laughs> hey, look at that! That's, That's a pretty smooth landing. I'd say so. It's an alien planet. Is there air? You don't know. Seems okay. He's <laughs> yawning. I sure have to use some self control. Uh, self control? It's funny coming from a guy who slept with every Tarakian slave girl and moon princess. <laughs> <laughs> Something bad happened here. Will you relax? There they are. Brilliant spheres. Well, this, this, uh, this is going way too smooth yeah, it right now. Yeah, can't be this easy. Would you look at that? They look like little children. Maybe the miners. Sure. I mean, they're like three years old. Miners, not miners. <laughs> you lost me. <laughs> <laughs> you lost me. There's a little hurt one. I never <laughs> Watch the show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, 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 oh. I'm so sick of being right. Oh. Let's get out of here before one of those things kills Guy. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it kills Guy. Oh, God. They're gone. Where'd they go? Back inside? I don't know. Gwen, Fred, Alex, and I will go down and get a sphere. Flagman, you set up a perimeter and Tommy, your lookout. You see anything at all? You give us a signal, all right? <laughs> Sam Rockwell. Oh, oh. What are you, an infant? Look, we have these. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's clearly not him. <laughs> now he comes right back. He's just come walking out. <laughs> Never give up. Never. <laughs> He's got the pig in his mouth. Oh, that's a lot. Go, go, go! Come on! Go, 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 of course, it's always about you, isn't it? <laughs> we can't laugh behind and he's off. Hit him with a rock. <laughs> oh, now is he going to be in a stew pot or no? Nope. I thought maybe over a fire. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, it looks like the tongue from Tremors. <laughs> Jason, we're going to use the digital conveyor to get you out of there. Diced into cubes and set up there in a million pieces? Right. <laughs> We're getting you out right now. It's perfectly safe, isn't it, Tim? It has never been successfully tested. What did he say? <laughs> Hold, please. <laughs> Hold, please. Hold, please. Jason, we're going to test it. On what? How about that pig lizard? Hey, I'm not all right with the pig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's very exciting to watch the mess. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. I heard some squealing or something. Oh no, everything's fine. The animal is inside out. <laughs> inside out? <laughs> oh. Oh. And it exploded. <laughs> that animal turned inside out and then it exploded? Hello? <laughs> He's covered in it. I don't think the pig lizard was Gorgnak. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, shit. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I'm open to any suggestion. Nobody <laughs> eyes like in episode 22. It doesn't have any eyes, Tommy. The rock, it doesn't have any photo of us. <laughs> Can you form some sort of rudimentary lathe? <laughs> well, you're just going to have to figure out what it wants. What is its motivation? <laughs> Listen, you were never serious about the craft. <laughs> yeah, method acting. It's not me anymore, man. Miss you, Fred. You just stop trying. You can do this, Fred. I know in my heart you're going to save my life. No doubt about it, Fred. Fred. <laughs> 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 Did you try me, brother? Oh, wow. Took Sergeant Chen. Yeah! Oh. So you managed to get. Early prediction, he stays oh my God. on ship. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he's. That's going to be. Uh, no, guys, I'm staying here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You demonstrate the necessity for your extermination. Leave him alone. You wish to save the life of this man? Yes. Then tell me, what does it do? Omega 13. I don't know what it does. I said I don't know. Oh. Do you think I'm a fool? Hey. Did the commander does not know every bolt, every weld in his ship? Prepare a tear harness for the female. Oh. When? When? No! A terror harness? harness? That doesn't sound good. Oh. There's no reason to hurt them. They don't know anything. 
explain. Show him the historical documents. <laughs> Open an oxygen seal on level C. Let the air in a bit for our friends. Son of a... Oh. oh. Release them into space. He's got staples in his yeah. chin, <laughs> looks like. Mm. It's about time you just backed off, you, you fin-headed monstrosities. <laughs> you what? You're starting to act like you did in episode 17, you scene-stealing hack. Oh, right. <laughs> Hundreds to die just because of you. Told you to shut up. Huh? Hundreds to die. Let me take I'll screw you in hell, won't I? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, nice. Get the gun. It's like slap fighting. This door's a little sticky. Did you see that? I'll get one of my boys up here with a can of WD-40. <laughs> I'll get one boys. of my boys. <laughs> Alexander, get to the barracks. See if you can't wedge the door in case they can't do that. Okay. What about me? What do I do? You gotta practice driving. Let's go. Practice driving. So we get to shut down a neutron reactor. Well, I hate to break it to you, Jason, but I don't know how to shut down a neutron reactor. And unless you took a learning annex course, I don't know. <laughs> learning <laughs> annex course. <laughs> Brendan, honey, garbage. Mother, I'm quite busy. Well, Brian, Mother, I'm, I'm quite. Ask you again. Yeah. Now, just ten more minutes. She looks it's familiar too. Promise. Yeah. Is that what's her uh, from Seinfeld? George's fiance. Oh, <laughs> I am. Like, <laughs> yeah, <I think> that's so. all. <laughs> I actually want to just wanted to tell you that I, I thought a lot about what you said, but I want you to know that I'm not a complete brain case, okay? I'm saying completely that it's just a TV show. Wait a minute, stop, stop for a second, stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's all real. Oh my god, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! We're in a lot of trouble, and we need your help. Core overloaded. <laughs> like I'm getting all okay. I'm getting all anxious. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my! It's totally got me sucked in. What are you doing up there? I avoided capture by using your Mokhtar stealth haze. Where is everyone? I'll explain on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Even when they're trying to sneak. <laughs> Uh, he's got storage. the fucking blueprints on a computer. That leads to a system of utility <laughs> Look at this shit. And look how amazing that computer yeah. is because it's 1999. It's got an exact, exact replica on his computer. Hi, Brandon. No time for pleasantries, Kyle. We have a level five emergency. You still got the utility systems walked through, right? Yeah, I've got sectors one through 28. I think Hollister is the upper level. Great, we'll get everybody online. <laughs> That's where they got the idea for Suicide Squad. <laughs> metal, Commander. Pedal to the metal. Yeah, that's smart, actually, because remember, they said they modeled everything after yeah. what they all did. Escaped custody. What? <laughs> All right, Brandon, I see five ducks in this room. Which way do we go? Enter the passage, second to your left, and just continue straight for 50 meters. It's always ducks. Uh, there will be a slight drop. <laughs> <laughs> slight. It doesn't look like much to me. It's just these few walls and this dumb spinning fan that we have in every single... Oh, wow. Their oxygen's almost gone. Listen, I'll go in. I've created a distraction. I got this. <laughs> Maybe you're the plucky comic relief. Did you ever think about that? Plucky? Plucky? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, perhaps together. The Mokhtar chant of strength. The rock to rock. The rock to rock. <laughs> Take a left and then just straight on through the chompers. The chompers? <laughs> What's the purpose of those? <laughs> okay, go now. Go! 
Oh my goodness. Uh, go! 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 It's like Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> they're gonna, they're Bring gonna the digitize rock? all those little guys. Oh, the rock. I thought they were gonna get all the little guys. <laughs> no. It's the simple things in life you treasure. <laughs> That's great. Hey! <laughs> hey, get a room, guys. <laughs> oh, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at oh, oh. the tentacles. <laughs> oh, that's not right. <laughs> 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 oh, look at the rock monster here, wrecking shop. We're under pressure. It's normalizing. We have saved. He has saved us. Commander Taggart has saved us. <laughs> Commander Taggart. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not fair. <laughs> Let's get back to the uh, commander. Oh, no. No. I'm. I'm shot. We're gonna lose this guy? You'll forgive my impertinence, sir. But even though we had never before met, I always considered you as a father to me. Oh, wow. Thy grandfathers and by the sons of Warvan, you shall be avenged. Oh no, Hans is oh. pissed. Oh, he's legit pissed. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's form tackles him. Brandon, it's not working. Brandon! <laughs> oh my god. Not stress enough the severity of the commander's <laughs> predicament. Core implosion estimated in 10 seconds. Nine. Gwen, I eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hmm. It always stops at one on the show. <laughs> um, what were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> Alexander, listen to me. Look, Look at his, his hair. hair. <laughs> All right, time to see if you get loose from that minefield. My minefield? Pedal to the metal, right now. Pedal to the metal. Let's go. Oh, going for it again. Well, he knows how to drive a little bit better now. Yeah. Oh, he's oh. missed. Oh, look, look at that. that. Yeah, it's green. Can you get us closer to these mines? Closer. I could try. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yep. Knock them out of their spots. Yep. You're sweating. Armor almost gone, Jason. You fool. Fail to realize that with your armor gone, my ship will tear through yours like tissue paper. And what you fail to realize is my ship is dragging mines. <laughs> oh, 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 that'll oh. do it. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alan Rickman's hair. Yeah. It's all coming through. <laughs> what is this movie? <laughs> it was awesome. Was <laughs> 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 Alan Rickman's hair is coming out of his face? All right, Tommy. Take us in the black hole. <laughs> <laughs> Fred, what are you doing up here? Shouldn't be downstairs until we just... Hey, you know, you could put an eye out with that thing. Fred? Oh. Oh, Whoa. What's Fred doing? The energy surge. Oh, he got out. Well, this is an unexpected twist. Yeah, I didn't see this coming. Sir, activate the 
Get your Omega 13. Well, we're gonna see what it yeah, does. We'll see what happens. We're out. We're going home. Systems register functional. All systems are working, Commander. Jason, before the Black Pearl, there was an energy surge from Cyrus's ship. Jason, <laughs> Let go of me, Fred. Oh, it's not Fred. That's Cyrus. Listen to me. I'm telling you, it's not Fred. That's Cyrus. He's gonna try to kill all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Fred, get up to command deck. We're separating. Oh. <laughs> He's staying. Oh. Is he staying or is she coming with? I think she's oh. coming with. Oh, yeah, yeah, She's coming with. Oh, the protector got super accelerated coming out of the black hole. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna help Laredo guide it on the voxels for freaking security and use Roman camels for visual confirmation. Uh, all right, dinner's at seven. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> all right. <laughs> You're telling me nobody got hurt? <laughs> no, zero splinters. Even. None. <laughs> They're probably like, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> ah, no, it's, 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 it's in the hall. He's getting the radio. Tommy Weber. <laughs> Hi, Tommy. Beautiful Tony Madison. Wow, what effects. <laughs> Another shipmate. <laughs> 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 yeah, some more than me. Uh, yeah. I blow on it. A friend. A friend. <laughs> oh no. Great try of it, Tommy. Yes, yes. Oh, he's back. Go, 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 go. Where's Al Powell when you need him? <laughs> oh, wow. That's all it took. That's all Just it took. one shot done. <laughs> what? The NSCA protector. Too long. Hey. Hey, Andy got the girl. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Give it up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the body can also quest t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the journey continues. <laughs> <laughs> Adventures of Galaxy Quest. Look at all stoic. <laughs> <laughs> the rock Ingersoll. <laughs> Dude, the classics. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This this was so much fun. Oh, I don't even post there is there's nothing. There's, <laughs> of course Star Trek. There is so nothing. Oh. oh my god. All right. Oh, that was outstanding. That was <laughs> Galaxy Quest. Oh Guys, thank you so much for this recommendation. This was just incredible for us. I mean, Oak, I know you love it because you've been to a bunch of the Comic Cons and everything, so it's like just right in the wheelhouse here. Man, I don't know oh if this God. movie works unless you have this cast of characters. With Tim Allen and Sigourney Weaver and Alan Rickman, they all just played their roles so perfectly. Um, you know, every now and then I'll catch the old Star Treks on the antenna TV uh, when I'm up, you know, at the cabin or whatever. And it, they're, yes, they're incredibly cheesy, but for some reason I totally find myself getting sucked into them in the most absurd storylines right. or whatever that they have. And it's like the cheesy special effects and all that stuff doesn't matter. And this uh, movie, they were totally going for that 
that whole vibe because like okay it started off as being ridiculous and funny and we have no idea what we're watching and it was great seeing oh the banter God. back and forth between all the actors with you know tim allen playing the role that he did and then you like you totally find yourself getting sucked in like oh oh are they gonna make it and you're yeah. like you know <laughs> dodging and ducking as you're watching the tv and it was it was just a lot of fun uh, big shout out to everybody involved you know, I, here I am going in thinking Sigourney Weaver's going to be a badass like she is yeah. in Ripley, and it's like the character's 180 degrees from what I'd expect. Alan Rickman was exactly oh, what amazing. I expected, just a legend, and just crushed every scene that he was in. Of course, we had Sam Rockwell doing his, Tony Shalhoub doing his role, and it was, guys, this was just fun. That's If there's one word that sums up Galaxy Quest, it is fun. I totally enjoyed it. Um, I don't know where to begin. This is, this is <laughs> fun is the easy word to do. It. And it was, it was so much funnier than I thought it would be. I mean, I knew it was going to be funny going in, but this like exceeded my expectations. Just, you know, Alan Rickman, just being how he is <clears throat> from, you know, Hans and then Harry Potter and everything else when he is, <laughs> he's, he's doing the the dry humor where he's not trying to be funny, but he totally, totally is funny. And just Daryl Mitchell as Tommy Weber was great. I mean, <clears throat> everyone just played their parts perfectly. And just even on uh, Missy Pyle, who right here, as you see the picture, <laughs> she was in Dodgeball. She always seems to play the characters that you do not recognize her one bit. Yeah. And yes, I looked at it as. Heidi Swenberg, who was, in fact, George Costanza's fiance yep. in Seinfeld. So we got that one right. But yeah, <laughs> Tim Allen was great in this. Um, and what I loved about it is they did not beat around the bush too much of <clears throat> him being crazy and him being hung over and whatever about it. They just sucked them all right in, and they didn't have to worry about that at all. It was about five minutes of yeah, them no being explanation like, where needed. am I? Yeah, what, what's this. going on here? Yeah five minutes and that's all it took for them all to understand that okay this is the real deal we got to do what we got to do and then just the the smartness of it of where we designed it after the show so it's like the actors had to try and remember what they did at the show <laughs> so like, tommy go practice driving so there he is watching that same with tony shalhoub's character what the hand movements do and obviously the first time it was wrong which helped out <laughs> which helped out <laughs> which out. helped out commander yep. peter quincy taggart and this movie was far exceeded my expectations it was just so much fun and there's so much laughter and just <laughs> yeah. but and just the way that uh sam rockwell played the over the top guy that th that every time they went somewhere he thought he was going to be off because yeah. that's what he did in his character and then he especially was like an episode of 81 not that's 81 <laughs> so i oh loved it enjoyed it uh answer so we're as, as we often do we're on the wikipedia page what was the critical response oh, okay. on this on this particular film I, i'm very curious a B plus on an A okay. plus F scale. Yeah, so yeah, I wonder. Ninety percent on Rotten Tomatoes. All right, good. <laughs> yeah, that's, okay. I an mean, average rating of seven point three out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get that up a little bit more. Oh, Come on. I, I, I meant what I said when when we came in in the intro that I'd never even heard of this. I never, I'd never heard of it. And uh, uh, you know when it started, I'm like, okay, it's kind of it was kind of funny. As Mason Quinn had mentioned about five years ago or so, some friends of mine got me into going to comic cons. Ironically, um, my boss now at the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic, his previous position was running like these massive, you know, mega con and some of these fan expos and and these huge things. So I've really gotten into that world. I was just in Orlando mega con. Um, <clears throat> back in in march and so kind of seeing this start off at one of the comic cons I'm like hey i go to those things yeah. uh, i'm going to one um coming up here relatively soon down in chicago um so um that was a lot of fun just that they started off on that and it was kind of you know it was interesting because um when they were all sitting around saying hey is it is it work who knows when we're going to get work again they brought up a very interesting dynamic with old TV shows, like, hey, maybe the actors don't have work anymore. Um, the lead guy, people wanted them to do some stuff. Hey, yep. you got to bring us along. Yep. So they kind of, I mean, they based that very much off of uh, off of reality, you know? And it's, mm -hmm. it's interesting because Alan Rickman's like, I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of doing this. Yeah. And I I'm sure, <laughs> sure I'm sure at these events that happens. Like, look, yeah. I, I, I went to... 
meet um, Mark Paul Gossler, of course, Zach Morris from yeah. Saved by the Bell. <laughs> and I'm sure he, he's got to just be like, I can't believe all these. Look, nobody's meeting him from you know the the the, the Boston Legal or whatever yeah, show whatever he was in. Yeah. It was for Saved by the <laughs> Bell. But so so the, the 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 way they kicked it off with the Comic Con and stuff like that was a lot of fun. I agree with the answer. It's like. Look, everybody got sucked up into a spaceship, and they weren't all like, "Okay, what's going on?" Yeah, yeah it wasn't. You know, it was part of the comedy. Let's roll with it. They had their their minute of, "Oh my god, I can't believe!" But then it's real, um, you know. So it started off like funny and and good for me, and like I thought, "Okay, this is this is a movie I'll enjoy." And then it just kept getting better and better and better and better, and it just, I mean, just like what a wholesome. Like I don't know, yeah. like a wholesome, funny movie. It yeah. did. It's it's so. It didn't need no, it was violence. Pretty, it was, it was pretty it clean. Didn't need a, like overly adult yeah. humor. It didn't need anything raunchy. You know, it was just like, it was just good, like stupid humor. And mm -hmm. I like look. My my brothers and I grew up watching like dumb movies. Better off dead. One crazy summer. Um, summer school. Like all these like stupid comedy eighties movies. Mm -hmm. That some people watch and they're like, oh, this isn't funny. And other people watch and they're just like dying. Yep. And I have to imagine like this is what it is with this movie. Is like some people probably watch it and they're like, it's not for them. And then you get people like us <laughs> just, and I'm watching awesome. just dying. Uh, I thought the acting was good. I think Tim Allen played a really good role. Uh, Sigourney Weaver, um, interesting that they put her in here again. She was such a badass in, uh, in Alien and Aliens. And uh, in those movies, um, so to have her in a space movie, I think was funny. <laughs> Alan Rickman, um, he very much felt like his his Hans character in Die Hard, although yeah. kind of felt like Snape in, in Harry <laughs> Potter too. But you know, not always in the best mood. He's getting ready to leave, but you know, he came around at the end. Uh, Sam Rockwell's guy was great comic relief. Um, I don't know. Justin Long's character helping out. Yeah. The fact that they he went, had everything in his computer. <clears throat> the fact well, that him they and went Rain to help Wilson, out. it was their film debut. Yeah. What's that? For Rain Wilson and Justin Long, it was their film debut. Oh, no yeah. kidding. Yeah. So the, the that thing was... that I thought was neat, Oak, and you could obviously speak to this, uh, having been to like conventions and Comic Cons, but I think, you know, this came out in 1999, and I don't want to say that there was like a negative connotation with Comic Cons and people being super fans and stuff. Stuff, but you know it wasn't as widely accepted as it is now i think i think you know it was kind of like a joke like oh you're going to a star trek convention or something like that and it was kind of like a joke but now i just think that's completely yeah. changed 180 degrees and i think everybody kind of loves and accepts the different cons and the fan expos and things like that it just feels different to me now than what it did back then well you know it's interesting like uh I, and i can't speak like i said i just got into this in the last handful of years and uh, a buddy of mine joe um and his buddy mike kind of got me into it and i totally got me into it just to go meet william zabko and ralph macchio from the karate kid <laughs> And uh, but I so I, I can't speak on the history, but I feel like when you heard about it before, it was like Star Trek convention mm. or like Star Wars convention. And again, I, I don't know the history on these, so please don't you know come at well, me. It, it but started it, getting and, popular with then San Diego yeah, started doing the Comic Cons, Diego and they would like started, drop like big, huge like yeah, film teasers and like started like bringing comic events. book movies. I don't and, know. I don't know when like. All these celebrities started showing up at these and doing autographs and photo ops. I don't know when that started because I don't, I guess it wasn't really the world I was in, but I don't recall hearing about it. Mm -hmm. And now, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to one coming up to meet Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd and, uh, and Tom, um, the guy played Biff Tannen. Uh, you just say Biff. Uh, just, just say the Biff Tannen. Group. But there's, yeah. um, you know, there's, uh, there's some other people there uh, that I'm really looking forward to seeing as well. But um, yeah, they, they have a different connotation now. I think it used to be the Trekkies, kind of the nerds. And, and look, I, I will say this, and this is for anybody out watching who's never been to a Comic Con, just go once. And even if you're, look, if you're too cool for school and don't want to go or, or whatever, or on the flip side, you're like, oh, everybody's going to think I'm a nerd. The whole thing is just all nerds. It's just what kind of nerd are you, yeah. right? Like, why not? Everybody's got their lane. The first one we went to, it was like, we we're waiting in line to meet the Karate Kid. We were joking. It's like, Dragon Ball Z guy had a million people. The Pink Power Ranger, first appearance in forever. 
and like the lines were huge and we're like oh that's interesting crowd that's interesting crowd and we the joke was you know they were looking at me and my buddies be like hey get, get yeah. a load of, get a load of these old nerds waiting in line to meet the karate kid yeah. you know and it's just like there's there's so much fun yeah. the costumes you know I, I brought my nephews to the next one in chicago after COVID was all done they're getting a million pictures i mean even if you don't go or you don't have the necessarily the money to get pictures with celebrities just going to see them is so much fun but i really loved that they they worked that in but they did kind of play the stereotype. Yeah, yeah they did. They did play yeah. to the stereotype. But this is very much a thing. Like, they have you go, they have the big panels and stuff mm -hmm. like that where they talk. And, look, I'm sure there's some celebrities who are like, oh, I don't want to be yeah, here. Yeah, but they're, they're collecting big checks. But <laughs> the, the one thing I will say um, is that the, the fans are passionate. And I think that's, like, important for people to realize is, like, TV shows that you really loved when you were, a, especially when you were a child, like they impact your life. You feel like they were a part of your life. And so as you grow up and you have a chance to meet these people, like that's a big deal for you. And, and it's nice when you meet actors who, who appreciate that and understand that. And uh, yeah. so that was a, a cool little part of this movie. I mean, did you guys think like, did I, they, when they started, I was like, what kind of parody is this? But yeah. I, I liked that they didn't try to it's, be anything fancy. Yeah, it's, 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 just, it's, it, was just it wasn't funny. ripping on the genre. It was like a love letter to it, which is what I saw some of the things that that bad. saw that, that they weren't necessarily ripping on it, but they were making a nice love letter to it. Just this is what it was and we're going to have fun with it. And I thought it was, that's what it came across as not... Not in the least bit making fun of it. Yeah, I mean, because yep. I think that's what the, like what it could come across is like it's making fun of Star Trek, making fun of Trekkies, but I don't think it did that at all. Yeah, no, I think that because uh, I remember you know a few episodes of, of the old uh, you know James T. Kirk uh, Star Trek yeah. you know, that they'll show, and you could tell that they borrowed a lot of mm -hmm. some of those creative ideas. Like I always remember the one with Kirk where he's fighting the lizard monster out in the desert and he has to like make the big cannon and stuff. <laughs> that reminded me when Tim Allen was fighting the rock monster. And guys, uh, please drop uh, any of the comments if there's any like direct. Uh, Kind of yes. ways yeah. let that, us that they let us know the well because yeah. there was a classic where he had to do the barrel or the little somersault yes. and, yeah. and Rickman <laughs> even called him out. Sigourney on it. Weaver threw in like the 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 relations with the aliens. Yes, yeah. that's the kind classic. of the joke. Every like, princess, uh, not, uh, not about William Shatner, yeah. but Captain Kirk always yeah. had relationships. I, there, there's a meme out there somewhere, not even really a meme. It's just a picture, and I think it was. Um, uh, it was like Captain Kirk or Sulu or whoever holding, um, a, it was a dog. It was like a terrier, like a little fluffy dog with like some costume with like horns and stuff. And the caption was like, never forget, like TV shows used to pass this off as an alien, yeah. an alien creature. Yeah. It was just a dude holding a dog. fluffy dog with like <laughs> horns on it. You got to imagine like with the directors, we need some alien creature. Ah, bring your terrier tomorrow. Yeah. Put some horns bring but, dog. Uh, yeah. No, this was a lot of yeah. fun. I had a great time. I absolutely love this. I thought it was great fan service. So for me, a four point five out of five answers i can't believe they didn't make a sequel again a great kind of tribute to all the diehard fans out there with the shows they love i loved it i laughed more than i thought i would so for that i'm giving it a four seven five this was so much fun to watch and i would definitely re-watch it yeah i'm with uh, i'm with answer on this one i can't i look uh we, we I'm not going to throw out a five. It wasn't like the perfect, no, no, perfect no, no. movie for me. <clears throat> it was fun. But I'm going to go with the same as answer, 4.75. Like, no. I mean, between the I should have watched it at 99. Cast, I would have loved this so much. Fact, like, let's not forget that the fact that they got a, a star-studded mm -hmm. cast for 99. this. Movie. Tim Allen no, yeah. at the time was huge. Sigourney mm -hmm. Weaver, mm -hmm. Alan Rickman. I mean, they got uh, just... Well, we were, I wonder where Alan Rickman was at. It had been a few years since he had been diehard. It was before Robin Harry Hood. Potter. He, yo, Robin, Robin Hood was... Off. Robin Hood was just a few years before. Uh, I Robin Hood was uh, 94. Love it. Actually, it would have been coming yeah. up soon so, enough. So. I mean, just a yeah. Tony Shalhoub was just about on his rise of being a monk. Yeah. yeah. Monk. Yep. Well, yeah. and then he was on uh, he was on a show before that. God, what was Wings. That? Wings. He was oh. on yep. Wings. But, I mean, so, so many great actors. Such a fun show. And, 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 and debuts mean, of, you know, Justin Long and then obviously Rain Wilson. I mean, just a huge, huge surprise for me. Absolutely love A lot of fun. Thank you so much to the people. <laughs> I mean, this oh. is like one, like, I'm really surprised sincere thank you so much to the people who recommended yes. that uh, thank you once again so for appleton oak that's mason quinn i'm of course the answer good night pals <laughs> there you go quinn <laughs>